Lesson 1. May I borrow your pen? Hi, Anna. May I borrow your pen? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I need it for taking notes. No problem, take your time. I appreciate your help. Happy to assist. I'll make sure to return it. Take your time, no rush. Thanks again for lending me your pen. You're welcome, anytime. Have a great day. Lesson 2. May I go to the restroom? Hi, Anna. May I go to the restroom? Of course, you may go to the restroom. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be back in a moment. Take your time, no hurry. I appreciate your understanding. It's no problem at all. I'll be quick. Take your time and be comfortable. Thanks again for allowing me. You're welcome, anytime. Have a great day. Lesson 3. Can you swim? Hi, Anna. Can you swim? Yes, I can swim. That's great. When did you learn? I learned when I was a child. Swimming is a useful skill. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoy swimming a lot. That's wonderful. Where do you usually swim? I usually swim at the local pool. Swimming at the pool is convenient. Any tips for someone who wants to learn swimming? Start with lessons, practice regularly, and don't be afraid of water. Lessons, regular practice, and fearlessness are valuable tips. Any final thoughts on swimming? Swimming is not only fun, but also a great way to stay active and healthy. I agree. Thank you for sharing, Anna. Enjoy your swimming sessions. You're welcome, John. I appreciate it. Wishing you lots of fun too. Thank you, Anna. Let's dive into the pool of possibilities. Lesson 4. May I bring a friend to the party? Hi, Anna. May I bring a friend to the party? Of course, you may bring a friend to the party. Thank you. You're welcome. My friend is excited to join. That's great to hear. I'll make sure they behave well. I trust your judgment. Thanks for being so accommodating. It's my pleasure. We're looking forward to the party. It will be a lot of fun. Thanks again for allowing me to bring a friend. You're welcome, anytime. Have a great day. Lesson 5. Can you play the guitar? Hi, Anna. Can you play the guitar? Yes, I can play the guitar. That's impressive. 
How long have you been playing? I've been playing for about five years. Playing the guitar is a great skill. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoy playing the guitar a lot. That's wonderful. What type of songs do you like to play? I like playing a variety of genres, but I enjoy acoustic songs the most. Acoustic songs have a beautiful sound. Any tips for someone who wants to learn the guitar? Start with basic chords, practice regularly, and be patient with yourself. Basic chords, regular practice, and patience are valuable tips. Any final thoughts on playing the guitar? Playing the guitar is not only a creative outlet, but also a great way to relax and express oneself. I agree. Thank you for sharing, Anna. Keep strumming those strings. You're welcome, John. I appreciate it. Wishing you musical joy too. Thank you, Anna. Let's create some beautiful melodies. Lesson 6. May I have a piece of cake? Hi, Anna. May I have a piece of cake? Of course, you may have a piece of cake. Thank you. You're welcome. The cake looks delicious. I'm glad you think so. Is it homemade? Yes, I baked it myself. That's impressive. What flavor is it? It's chocolate flavor. Chocolate cake is my favorite. Any special occasion? No special occasion, just wanted to bake. Well, I appreciate it. Can't wait to taste it. Enjoy your slice of cake. Thanks again for sharing the cake with me. You're welcome, anytime. Have a great day. Lesson 7. Could this candidate be the right fit for the job? Hi, Anna. Could this candidate be the right fit for the job? It's possible, but we need to assess further. What qualifications does the candidate have? The candidate has relevant experience and skills. That's a good start. Did they perform well in the interview? Yes, they had a strong interview performance. That's promising. What about their references? The references provided positive feedback. That's a good sign. Any concerns or reservations? We need to consider their long-term goals and cultural fit. Long-term goals and cultural fit are significant factors. Any final thoughts on the candidate? The candidate shows potential, but we should evaluate thoroughly before deciding. I agree. Thank you for your insights, Anna. Let's make the right decision for the job. You're welcome, John. I appreciate it. Our decision should be well considered. Lesson 8. Could you believe how well the team performed? Hi, Anna. Could you believe how well the team performed? Yes, their performance exceeded my expectations. They were outstanding. What contributed to their success? Effective communication and collaboration played a significant role. 
That's great to hear. Any standout moments or achievements? They completed the project ahead of schedule and with excellent quality. Impressive. Did they face any challenges along the way? They encountered a few obstacles, but overcame them with determination. Their resilience paid off. Any specific team members who stood out? Everyone contributed their best, but Sarah's leadership was exceptional. Sarah's leadership skills shine. Any final thoughts on the team's performance? The team's success demonstrates their skills, dedication, and teamwork. I agree. Thank you for sharing, Anna. Let's celebrate their remarkable achievement. You're welcome, John. I appreciate it. They deserve recognition. Lesson 9. Could you explain why the project failed? Hi, Anna. Could you explain why the project failed? There were several factors that contributed to the failure. What were some of those factors? Insufficient planning and poor communication were major issues. Lack of planning and communication can be detrimental. Any other reasons? Misaligned goals and resource constraints also played a part. Misaligned goals and limited resources can hinder success. Were there any external factors? Yes, unforeseen market changes impacted the project as well. External factors can be challenging to overcome. Any lessons learned from this experience? It highlighted the importance of thorough planning and open communication. Thorough planning and communication are crucial for success. Any final thoughts on the project failure? It's essential to learn from mistakes and make improvements for future projects. I agree. Thank you for explaining, Anna. Let's apply these lessons moving forward. You're welcome, John. I appreciate it. Continuous improvement is key. Absolutely, Anna. Lesson 10. Could this dress be any more elegant? Hi, Anna. Could this dress be any more elegant? It's already quite stunning. It's truly beautiful. Where did you find it? I got it from a boutique downtown. You have great taste. Any special occasion for wearing it? I'm wearing it to a wedding next week. It's perfect for a wedding. Any accessories to go with it? I'll pair it with some silver jewelry and heels. That will complete the elegant look. Any final thoughts on the dress? It's a statement piece that makes me feel confident and stylish. I can see why. Thank you for sharing, Anna. You'll turn heads in that dress. You're welcome, John. I appreciate it. I'm excited to wear it. Absolutely, Anna. Lesson 11. Could you recommend a book for my summer reading? Hi, Anna. Could you recommend a book for my summer reading? Sure, I have a great suggestion for you. What book do you recommend? The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. What is it about? It's a philosophical novel about following your dreams. 
That sounds intriguing. Any other recommendations? To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee is a classic worth reading. I've heard great things about that book. Any genre you'd recommend? If you enjoy fantasy, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling is a must-read. I'm a fan of fantasy. Thank you for the recommendations, Anna. You're welcome, John. Happy reading. Same to you, Anna. Lesson 12. Could this app be the next big thing in technology? Hi, Anna. Could this app be the next big thing in technology? It has the potential to make a significant impact. What makes it stand out? Its innovative features and user-friendly interface set it apart. Innovation and user-friendliness are key. Any unique functionalities? It offers seamless integration with other popular apps. That's a valuable feature. Any competition in the market? There are similar apps, but this one brings something new. Standing out in a competitive market is crucial. Any predictions? It could disrupt the industry and attract a large user base. Exciting possibilities lie ahead. Any final thoughts on the app? Its success will depend on user adoption and ongoing development. User adoption and continuous improvement are vital. Thank you for sharing, Anna. Let's keep an eye on this app's journey. You're welcome, John. I appreciate it. Let's see where it goes. Absolutely, Anna. Lesson 13, may I open the window? Hi, Anna. May I open the window? Sure, you may open the window. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a bit stuffy in here. Opening the window will let in some fresh air. That would be nice. Is there a specific way to open it? Just push the latch and slide it upward. Got it. Opening the window now. Enjoy the fresh breeze. It already feels better. Thank you for letting me open the window. You're welcome, anytime. Have a great day. Lesson 14, may I watch TV before finishing my dishwashing? Hi, Anna. May I watch TV before finishing my dishwashing? It's better to finish washing the dishes first. I understand. Just wanted a little break. Once the dishes are done, you can relax and watch TV. All right, I'll finish up quickly. Thank you for understanding. No problem. I'll be done soon. Take your time and do a thorough job. Almost done. Just a few more plates. Great job. You're almost there. All done. Now I can enjoy some TV. Relax and enjoy your favorite show. Thanks for your patience, Anna. You're welcome, John. Happy watching. Same to you, Anna.
Lesson 15, May I Visit the Museum Tomorrow with You? Hi, Anna. May I visit the museum tomorrow with you? I'd love to go to the museum with you. That's great. What time should we meet? Let's meet at 10 in the morning. Sounds good. Is there an entrance fee? Yes, there's a small entrance fee. I'll bring some cash for the fee. Perfect. It'll be a fun day exploring the exhibits. I'm excited to see the art and artifacts. We'll have a great time together. Thank you for inviting me, Anna. You're welcome, John. It'll be a memorable experience. I'll see you at the museum tomorrow. Lesson 16, may I have a slice of pizza? Hi, Anna. May I have a slice of pizza? Of course you may have a slice of pizza. Thanks. It looks delicious. Help yourself to a slice. Which one should I choose? The one with pepperoni is popular. Sounds good. I'll take a slice with pepperoni. Enjoy your pizza. Mmm, -hmm, it's really tasty. I'm glad you like it. Do you want a slice too? No, thank you. I already had mine. All right, more for me then. Pizza is always a good choice. Indeed, it's a satisfying meal. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thanks for sharing, Anna. You're welcome, John. Bon appetit. Thank you. Lesson 17, can you dance salsa? Hi, Anna. Can you dance salsa? Yes, I can dance salsa. That's impressive. How did you learn? I took lessons at a dance studio. How long have you been dancing salsa? I've been dancing salsa for three years. Do you enjoy it? I love it. It's energetic and fun. Can you show me some salsa moves? Sure, let's dance together. I'm not sure if I can keep up. Don't worry, I'll guide you through the steps. Okay, let's give it a try. Start with the basic side-to-side -side movement. Like this? Yes, you're doing great. Now add some hip movement. Like this? Perfect. You're a natural. Thanks for teaching me, Anna. You're welcome, John. Keep practicing. I will. Let's dance again sometime. Absolutely. It'll be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Lesson 18, may I take a photo of this artwork? Hi, Anna. May I take a photo of this artwork? Sorry, photography is not allowed in this gallery. Oh, I understand. It's a beautiful piece. Yes, it's quite captivating. I wish I could capture its essence. 
Sometimes, memories are better than photos. You're right. I'll admire it in person. Take your time to appreciate the details. The colors and textures are amazing. Art has a way of evoking emotions. Indeed, it's a powerful form of expression. Each person interprets art differently. That's what makes it so fascinating. Let's immerse ourselves in the experience. I agree. Let's enjoy the artwork together. Sounds like a plan, John. Thank you for sharing this moment with me, Anna. You're welcome, John. It's a pleasure. Let's continue exploring the gallery. Lesson 19, can you cook spaghetti? Hi, Anna. Can you cook spaghetti? Yes, I can cook spaghetti. That's great. Do you have a special recipe? I have a simple and delicious recipe. Can you share it with me? Of course. First, boil water and add salt. How much salt should I use? About a teaspoon should be enough. Got it. What's the next step? Add the spaghetti to the boiling water. How long should it cook? Cook it for about 8 to 10 minutes until al dente. What about the sauce? While the spaghetti cooks, prepare the sauce. What sauce do you recommend? Classic marinara sauce is always a good choice. Any tips for making the sauce? Saute garlic and onions, then add tomatoes and herbs. Sounds delicious. Anything else? Once the spaghetti is cooked, drain it and mix with the sauce. Can I top it with cheese? Definitely. Grated Parmesan cheese works well. Thank you for the recipe, Anna. I'll give it a try. You're welcome, John. Enjoy your spaghetti. I will. Thanks again, Anna. No problem, John. Let me know how it turns out. I'll do that. Have a great day. Lesson 20. May I have your opinion on my business proposal? Hi, Anna. May I have your opinion on my business proposal? Sure, I'd be happy to give you my opinion. Thank you. I value your insight. What is your business proposal about? It's about starting a digital marketing agency. That sounds interesting. What's your unique selling point? We'll specialize in social media advertising. That's a competitive field. Any specific target audience? Small and medium-sized businesses in the local area. Have you researched the market demand? Yes, there's a growing demand for digital marketing services. How do you plan to attract clients? Through targeted online advertising and referrals. Do you have a solid pricing strategy? Yes, we'll offer competitive pricing packages. Have you considered the potential challenges? 
Yes, we anticipate competition and constantly evolving platforms. Overall, it sounds promising. Good luck with your proposal. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your feedback. You're welcome, John. Let me know how it progresses. I will. Your support means a lot to me. I'm here to support you. Keep me updated. Absolutely, Anna. Thanks again. Lesson 21, can I visit you next week? Hi, Anna. Can I visit you next week? Yes, you can visit me next week. That's great. What day works best for you? How about Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday works better for me. Wonderful. What time will you arrive? I'll aim to be there in the afternoon. Perfect. I'll be expecting you. Thank you for hosting me, Anna. It's my pleasure, John. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. We'll have a great time. We'll catch up and enjoy each other's company. Anything specific you'd like to do together? We can explore the city or try a new restaurant. Sounds like a plan. I'm excited. Lesson 22, may I listen to music during work? Hi, Anna. May I listen to music during work? It depends on the workplace policy. Is it allowed in our office? Yes, as long as it doesn't disturb others. I'll use headphones so it won't bother anyone. That sounds reasonable. Enjoy your music. Thank you, Anna. It helps me focus. Music can be a great productivity booster. It definitely puts me in the zone. Just remember to prioritize your tasks. Of course, work comes first. As long as it doesn't hinder your productivity. I'll make sure to manage my time effectively. That's the spirit, John. Keep up the good work. Thanks for understanding, Anna. No problem, John. Happy listening. Same to you, Anna. Lesson 23. Can you recommend a good restaurant with spicy food? Hi, Anna. Can you recommend a good restaurant with spicy food? Absolutely. There's a Thai restaurant called Spice Delight. Is it known for its spicy dishes? Yes, they offer a variety of spicy options. That sounds perfect. Where is it located? It's downtown, near the city center. Do we need to make a reservation? It's recommended, especially during peak hours. What are some popular spicy dishes there? Their tom yum soup and pad thai are excellent. I love both of those. What about the spice level? You can choose the spice level to suit your taste. That's great. I like it really spicy. They can definitely make it hot for you. I'm getting excited about trying it. 
It's a fantastic place for spicy food lovers. Thank you for the recommendation, Anna. You're welcome, John. Enjoy your meal. I will. Let's go there soon. Absolutely. Sounds like a plan. Looking Let's forward make a reservation. to it. Lesson 24, may I pet your dog? Hi, Anna. May I pet your dog? Sure, you can pet my dog. What's your dog's name? His name is Max. Max looks friendly and adorable. He's a sweetheart. Go ahead and pet him gently. Thank you, Anna. Max is so soft. He enjoys being petted. Does Max like belly rubs? Yes, he loves belly rubs. Max, you're such a good boy. He's wagging his tail. He likes you. Dogs always bring joy to my day. They're wonderful companions. Can I give Max a treat? Yes, you can give him a treat from his bowl. Max, here's a treat for you. He's wagging his tail even more now. It's been a pleasure meeting Max. Max enjoyed your company too, John. I'll visit again soon. Goodbye, Max. Lesson 25, can I rearrange the furniture in my room? Hi, Anna. Can I rearrange the furniture in my room? Of course, you can rearrange your furniture. I feel like changing the room's layout. It can give a fresh look to your space. Any tips for rearranging furniture? Start with a plan and measure the room. Should I move the larger pieces first? Yes, that's usually easier to manage. I'll need some help with the heavy items. I can lend a hand if you'd like. That would be great. Thank you, Anna. No problem, John. Happy to assist. Where should I place the bed? Find a spot that feels comfortable and accessible. What about the desk and chair? Position them near a source of natural light. I want to create a cozy reading nook too. Place a comfortable chair by a bookshelf or window. That sounds inviting. I'll try it. Experiment and see what works best for you. I'm looking forward to the new arrangement. It'll be a fun project. Enjoy the process. Thanks for your guidance, Anna. You're welcome, John. Have fun rearranging. I will. See you later, Anna. Lesson 26. May I use the conference room for a meeting? Hi, Anna. May I use the conference room for a meeting? Sure, you can use the conference room. Thank you, Anna. When is it available? It's available tomorrow from 2 p.m. onwards. That works perfectly for me. How long can I book it? You can book it for up to two hours. That should be enough time for our meeting. Great. 
Let me note it down in the schedule. Will there be any equipment in the room? The room is equipped with a projector and whiteboard. Excellent. That will be helpful for our presentation. You're welcome to use them during your meeting. Is there a reservation process? Yes, I'll make the reservation for you. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your assistance. No problem, John. Happy to help. I'll inform my team about the meeting. Sounds good. Let me know if you need anything else. I will. Thanks again, Anna. You're welcome, John. Good luck with your meeting. Thank you, Anna. See you tomorrow. Lesson 27. Can you recommend a good travel destination? Hi, Anna. Can you recommend a good travel destination? Sure. Have you considered visiting Paris? Paris sounds amazing. What makes it special? It's known for its stunning architecture and rich history. Are there any must-see attractions in Paris? The Eiffel Tower and Louvre Museum are iconic. I've always wanted to see them in person. They're definitely worth a visit. What about the food in Paris? French cuisine is renowned worldwide. I'm looking forward to trying croissants and baguettes. You'll find plenty of delicious options there. Is there a good time to visit Paris? Spring and autumn are popular for pleasant weather. That sounds perfect. I'll plan my trip accordingly. Great. You'll have a memorable experience in Paris. Thank you for the recommendation, Anna. You're welcome, John. Enjoy your trip. I will. I can't wait to explore Paris. Lesson 28. May I borrow your stapler? Hi, Anna. May I borrow your stapler? Of course, you can borrow my stapler. Thank you, Anna. I need it for some paperwork. No problem. Here you go. Do you have any extra staples too? Yes, I have a box of staples right here. Great. I appreciate your help. Happy to assist, John. I'll return it once I'm done. Take your time. Just bring it back when you can. I'll make sure to return it promptly. Thanks for being responsible. It's the least I can do. Let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Thanks again, Anna. You're welcome, John. Have a productive day. You too, Anna. Lesson 29. Can you carry liquids in your carry-on bag? Hi, Anna. Can you carry liquids in your carry-on bag? No, you can't carry large liquids in your carry-on bag. What do you mean by large liquids? Liquids exceeding 3.4 ounces, 100 milliliters. 
So, no water bottles or drinks. Not in containers larger than the limit. Can I bring small travel sized toiletries? Yes, as long as they fit in a quart sized bag. What about medications or baby formula? Those are allowed, but they may require additional screening. I see. It's important to follow the rules. Absolutely, it ensures safety and efficiency. I'll make sure to pack liquids accordingly. That's a smart approach, John. Thanks for clarifying, Anna. No problem, happy to help. I appreciate your assistance. Anytime, John. Safe travels. Thank you, Anna. Take care. Lesson 30, may I put up a poster in my cubicle? Hi, Anna. May I put up a poster in my cubicle? Yes, you can put up a poster in your cubicle. Thank you, Anna. Is there a size restriction? It should fit within the cubicle walls. I'll make sure it's not too big then. That's a good idea. Are there any content guidelines? Avoid offensive or inappropriate content. I understand. I'll keep it professional. That's important in a work environment. Can I use adhesive to hang it? Yes, as long as it doesn't damage the walls. I'll be careful with the adhesive then. Great. It should be fine. Are there any restrictions on poster themes? It should align with company policies and values. I'll choose something relevant and positive. That's a good approach, John. Thanks for your guidance, Anna. No problem, happy to assist. I appreciate your help. Anytime, John. Have a productive day. You too, Anna.